All right, time to unbox the Frank Brothers. Had to grab my knife real quick. So excited, this came a day early. And Frank Brothers packaging is so cool. I mean, look at this. They actually got a handle in here and you kind of just pull it out. They mark one end of the box as, hey Mark, what's up folks? Thanks all for being here. Got about nine of you here right now. Exciting, pulling this out of the box. Such a nice unboxing experience. They even mark one end. Do not open this end. So here is how the box looks. Pretty rad, right? It's got handles on all sides. Let's go ahead and lay it down. And I can pick up the phone here and show you what I'm seeing. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. Smoking Joe, what's up, man? I appreciate all the support lately. You've been on a like spree on my channel, which is really cool. Frank Brothers, there's the case. Really excited about this case, too, because last time I got the tweed case, which is beautiful. This is just a different look. All right, let's unbuckle and check it out, huh? pictures of this thing have just been phenomenal and Frank Brothers has been making me drool watching everything unfold seriously all right let's see if I got all this one more one more on the back there how's that for suspense oh this already smells so good I can smell the <laughs> the polish and the nitro just wafting out of the case here we go ready three two one Ooh! Wow. Let's check out the get the headstock free up here. I'll do that in a minute. This is so beautiful. Let me see if I can get in tight for some better views of the nitro. Check out that checking. The bound F hole. We gotta really come up with a better name than F hole, I think, but uh, they sure do make it look great. And look at the checking. It even checks over the binding. What's up, Blake? This is just beyond, I mean, my gold top is gorgeous, I love it. This might be even topping that. Incredible, got the Bigsby going on, got the, uh, Lawler El Rayo and the neck in the bridge. And this is a Lawler Firebird in the middle. The global volume and global tone control the El Rayos with the three position switch. But this middle knob, nice and handy, easily reachable, because I don't use tone knobs that often. This is a blender to blend in the Firebird no matter where you are on the switch. That also means that you can turn down both El Reos and turn up just the Firebird and hear the Firebird by itself, which is really exciting. Oh, thanks a lot, Tim. Hiscock boards, thanks. Sorry, I've been so preoccupied uh, getting this open. <laughs> Haven't been uh, watching the chat here. This thing is like perfectly in tune, it sounds like to me. Now, the real fun part is gonna be how good is this top look? But now watch when I lift it up and look at the sides. It's got the, the beautiful Frank Brothers. Like, I asked them to tint the wood darker to pop it, and it's got the blue back with nitro checking as well. This is stunning. I absolutely can't get over it. Bear with me for a moment. I'm gonna take the wrapper off the headstock so we can look at that. Look at that. Wow. The checking on the headstock is beautiful too. Let me see if I can get a good angle on that. It's even got, uh, even the truss rod cover is not just some plastic. It's actually the same wood as the fretboard, it looks like, book matched. Look at the back. One of the coolest details on a Frank 
is the volute that protects the neck to headstock joint. A lot of other companies don't uh, <laughs> look after the way that joint happens and they can be the cause of repairs and many problems over the years. Let's look more at the bottom of this. We got kind of mother of pearl looking off-white uh, strap connectors. Here's another one up here. This time we got these white antique tuning pegs and if you haven't played a Frank yet, they have the smoothest tuning ratio of all time. These are Clusons, but the way Frank sets up the Clusons, let me just say that <laughs> other guitars that have Clusons, it is not a pretty, um, not a nice experience usually. And this is just, wow. The phone is kind of distorting the perspective of the guitar a little bit. Let me stand up a bit. There's a nice look at it. Here's the sides. The back. The back's looking real flat in this light, but see the checking? You guys make that out? That is stunning. Wow, this macro lens on this phone is really bringing home the goods. That should be pretty visible for you all. Let's look at the front macro. Just gorgeous. And I love having the pickup selector on the horn. This is the X guard as opposed to uh, Frank's other guard. That I have on my gold top. They're both really cool, but when you have a Bigsby, it's awesome to have the pickup selector kind of out from under this area because it can get a little crowded, a little congested. Nothing you can't work with, but if you're building a custom guitar, it's nice to do it exactly the way you want. Look at this headstock. That wood grain, that's not just black if it's not coming through. That's actual book matched uh, wood from the fretboard. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Frank Brothers. This is truly one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. I will post this to the page so everybody can see it, but wow, this thing is completely redefining <laughs> what I would expect from a custom guitar build. It's so original, it's so beautiful. Blues Lawyer Memes, what's up? I'll show you the back because you guys just got here, but. It's stunning. I think it's perfectly in tune. I'm gonna have to go plug it in here. But uh, again, Lawler El Reyos in the neck and bridge, Lawler Firebird in the middle. The Firebird is on a blender with the middle pot there. Global volume controls just the El Reyos. The blender pot will bring in the Firebird and you can dial in just the Firebird if you'd like to through that configuration. Three position pickup switch like a Les Paul slash SG slash Telecaster, keep things nice and simple. And yeah. I'm really excited to hear. I love the El Rayo. It's probably my favorite humbucker of all time. Cannot wait to hear how they sound in a semi-hollow body. And look at that bound F-hole. There's the checking you can see. So amazing. I know. Sorry. It is making me a little nervous holding it with one hand, too. Maybe I should go. <laughs> you have a good point. Anyway. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. I'll make sure this is posted to the feed so you guys can check it out. And uh, lots of sounds coming soon. Cannot wait to plug this in. Uh, with that, I'll talk to you all soon. Expect a ton of demos with this guy. Frank Brothers Ultralight. Thank you, Frank Brothers.